If it's not talking politics over Christmas dinner, how's this for a hot topic? The weather, it's been exceptionally warm with temperatures ranging between 50 and 60 degrees from the Midwest to the Northeast, and it's going to get even warmer with some cities breaking new records. So what's heating up the holidays? Bill Nye, the science guy and CEO of Planetary Society, is here to tell us all about that. And Bill, thank you so much for coming on the show. I grew up watching you whenever there was a substitute science teacher in for the day, so it is a real treat. Uh, uh, I'll just ask you, as someone who did okay in biology but wasn't the greatest, what's happening? Why is it going to be 70 degrees in Washington tomorrow on Christmas Eve? Uh, two phrases with two words. The first one is El Nino. And the second one is climate change. Now, uh, I know uh, we have a situation where no one uh, in uh, regular television will say the word climate, the phrase climate change, not Mike, not Sarah. Nobody will mention this phrase, but the world's getting warmer. So when there's an El Nino event, which is where the surface of the Pacific Ocean gets a little warmer, yes, you get these two things here in North America. You get more moisture in the atmosphere out west, which generally leads to more snow, which is what we have. And then you generally get uh, the Gulf Stream, uh, the, excuse me, the uh, jet stream remaining where it is. And then you get these uh, warm, the warm weather out back east. However, Bill, since yeah, there's more heat energy in the atmosphere, these two, these two uh, phenomena are amplified. November, according to NOAA, the warmest month on record in the history of the world, at least in what we've been able to record. Climate change, I would probably suspect, is behind that. But when you have the warmest month on record in the history of the world, is this the beginning of the beginning of this type of weather extreme? Because I remember last year, Buffalo, New York, my father's hometown, the worst snow they had ever seen in November and December. Now you'd be hard pressed to find even half an inch. What's going on? Well, so as we say, uh, the phrase climate change is accurate because it means the local climates are changing. Uh, this means sometimes you're going to have more snow, sometimes you're going to have more warmth. But in general, all the effects will be amplified. The differences, the colds will be colder, the warms will be warmer. Now, this is the place for politics, is my understanding. And uh, I claim, and this is for you guys, the deniers are out there, they're going to go wild, and, but... What is everybody concerned about? Everybody's concerned about jobs, everybody's concerned about the economy, and everybody's concerned about security or international relations or terrorism. Uh, we and the scientific community connect all of these things with climate change. If the United States did not need the energy from elsewhere in the form of fossil fuels, it would greatly affect uh, the relationship between governments and the effectiveness of uh, terrorists because they wouldn't be able to get money for black market oil, for example. The economy... We were building wind turbines in West Virginia and Kentucky instead of digging up these ancient layers of coal, we would produce at least 50,000 jobs in each of those two states and commonwealths. And uh, we, would, uh, we would curtail the use of fossil fuels. This would be a boon to the U.S. economy. And so mm -hmm. uh, why nobody will say anything about this is uh, uh, what I would well, call charming I think it's been discussed. and also I, troubling. I, I, I think it's been discussed extensively, but on your point, the Pentagon has said that climate change is one of the greatest national security threats there, oh, there is out there. So and here's the question. Yeah. I have a question for you, hard-hitting investigative journalist. Yes, the conservative can win the uh, primaries without mm -hmm. any millennial votes, right? Nobody in their 20s or early 30s is in needed theory. to win the primary. Yeah. Sure. But can you win, can a conservative win the national election for president? and deny climate change and alienate millennials. And this is, uh, I tried to do the analysis based on the number of electoral votes in each state. It's a near run thing. It's a very close call. So it, it, I'm very interesting interested to see, to see what'll it, happen. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't register in, in terms of where the economy is or national security is. However, there are some people who take it very seriously and that is a single voter issue. So I'll be fascinated to look into the, the, uh, the, the science on that, the political science on that when we're done. Real quickly to you, Bill. Uh, a week ago, D.C., it's December, mosquito bit me. 
What does this mean for animals, the climate change we have here, in terms of the seasons are getting longer? Mosquitoes can live longer. Other animals are dying more quickly. What's happening here quickly? So the big problem, this surprised me, but a couple scientific papers have been published about this. The biggest problem with climate change for our agriculture, I'm talking about mosquitoes in uh, November, the biggest problem for our agriculture is not that the, mid, the Midwest turn into a desert or dry out, which is you can kind of get that impression from certain maps, but instead that these parasites and, uh, and uh, pests have extended their seasons both in the spring and the fall. The pests and parasites are around a lot longer than they used to be. Now this has tremendous economic effects on our agriculture and our food supplies, not just here in the United States, but around the world especially. And if these tropical diseases end up to be extant here in the mid-latitudes, it's going to be tremendous medical costs. The sooner we get to work on climate change, the, the better for everybody. It's a win, win, win. Come on, let's get going. My parents both were World War II veterans. They solved mm -hmm. an international problem in whatever number you like, five or six years. We could do the same thing in a decade or two. We could do mm -hmm. it if we got going. So yes, mosquitoes in November wow. is consistent with climate change models, and it's well. very troubling. We'll see if 2016 um, is the year that everybody gets going. My, you have some optimism after the Paris talk, so I presume. Bill Nye oh, yeah. The, yeah. is the science guy. Thank you so much for joining us and Thank for sharing you. your views. We appreciate it. You too. Take care.